This is Captain Tom Shadley at Mangrove Outfitters Fly Shop. Today I'm going to tie the light bulb. I first came to this uh, about uh, tying this fly while I was fishing for tarpon at night and couldn't get them to eat anything. So I came across the <coughs> memory of Doug Swisher telling me about glow in the dark. So I get, decided to give that a try, and we came up with the light bulb here. It's a pretty simple fly, and it catches all sorts of fish. I need uh, I've tied it for trout, snook, redfish, tarpon, eat it, and it's just an all around, all around good fly. Put on a little bit of the white flashaboo glow in the dark for the back. Then we'll take and dark to fly, put the gill on. Looking for something white, lamps and guru, something like that. And then I like to tie the eyes on. Give him plenty of room for the head, Nestaz head. There's not not much in the world of anodized you're gonna find. On the eyes, you can use bead chain, you can use plastic eyes, and in this case these are one eightieth mini eyes plated. Lead lead eyes so you can cover just about every depth of water you want okay next I'll take some Mirage polar flash I'll cut it to about the length just a little bit longer than the white glow in the dark and we're going to tie some on each side or towards the top of the hook. A lot of times I put it on the all at once and it seems to want to would be the Reddington Rises. Uh, Foul a little more often. Really it's the so by putting it on either side, it seems to slow that down. So. Yeah, that's what I was going to pull out. Trying to top of drain. Uh, yeah, yeah. But they're super light. And about at this point, I'd like to put on a drop or two head cement. This is a very durable fly. And if you don't put the head cement on, it's durable, but eventually wears down. If you get a lot of toothy critters chewing on it. <laughs> Next, we'll put some Palmer chenille on. When I first started tying this fly, Palmer chenille wasn't really distributed, I guess. And I'd use, use cross-cut rabbit. This is much more durable, plus continues that shine a little bit more. And I'll do about three reps. With the Palmer chenille, cut the excess off. I know they got that three pack. I don't know if you have the three pack thing going. Next, we'll wrap in some Estes. This is the Pearl Estes. I'm pretty sure we have it. 
Wrap that in. And that's about the same And we'll go around once. Come down under. Back over. This is all about durability with the cast. Mm -hmm. Extra Not a whole lot, but I don't know off the top of my head the actual price. <coughs> Does anybody actually use extra Whip finish. Not usually. And you have the light bulb. Yeah. And like I say, you can use V chain eyes, the plastic mirage eyes, or lead eyes. Reach whatever water level you want to fish. <laughs>